Hello. Um, hello, guys. Um, my name is Everson. Uh, I know that my name is a little bit uh, complicated to pronounce, so then you can call me Crash. It's my nickname uh, to make the things easier. So um, my idea here is to show uh, an experience that I had in Brazil with uh, some uh, houters and uh, with some uh, internet server providers and some companies. So uh, this is a, the, basically the history about uh, a router that the, my internet server provider installed at my home. So then we can talk about some uh, backdoors, but the idea is not talk about uh, the backdoor itself, okay? So, go. Okay, uh, basically um, this research, uh, born in uh, Area 31, it's a hacker space in Brazil. Uh, I'm on the founder of this hacker space. And uh, just to say, uh, every, uh, all the information in this talk is public and no one uh, was hacked, okay? I, I hope you believe me. We, di we didn't hack no one. Uh, it's about me. Uh, I will not explain everything, but uh, it's the conference that I have been, uh, that I was a speaker, uh, my company, IPAN, uh, that I work in uh, Poland. I'm Brazilian, but I, I live in Poland. Uh, this is some uh, information about me. Uh, also, I'm a contributor for Kali Linux. If someone has some problem or some uh, improvement for Kali Linux, please let me know. We can uh, work together in that. Okay? So, uh, some background. Uh, some years ago, not some years, but uh, the last one was some uh, weeks ago, we already have uh, backdoors in this kind of device, you know? Everyone knows about that? Backdoors in device? Hands up. No one? Come on, boys. Okay. Oh, on here. Okay, good. So if you don't know about backdoors in your device, this talk will be very cool. So this is some background. Uh, this is uh, back, uh, backdoors uh, in NetSys, NetCore, Houters. Uh, this one, another Houter uh, backdoor. It's uh, for news from Hacker News. Um, more backdoors in the link. Do you know the link? Hmm? Come on, guys. Wake up. Yeah, good, good, good. Awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. And this is the last one that I saw in the internet. Uh, another time, uh, the link uh, backdoors, and this one was kind of crazy because uh, I was found uh, several uh, multiple backdoors in this device. So then it's, it's not a, a new thing. My talk uh, is not about it's not talk about these uh, devices and not talk about these backdoors because everyone knows that this device has backdoors. So my idea here is not talk about the backdoor itself, no? So here is the backdoor. So just to say, this backdoor is here. Uh, there, there is someone, a uh, developer here. No developers? Okay, one developer here. No? Oh, on there. So could you explain me, please, why someone put a backdoor in device in clear text? <laughs> please, and no, the, the best thing is, where is, uh, the name of the backdoor is backdoor. <laughs> Man, really. <laughs> Helps. So, some developers could explain me after this. No? Maybe the guy's crazy or don't, maybe someone put a gun in here. Do it in clear text, I will kill you. <laughs> so, uh, basically the back door is that. It's uh, uh, when you download the configuration file for the, your uh, device, you have a Bing file. Okay, so you have a Bing file, but in this Bing file, there is a plain text, okay? So the backdoor is named backdoor, and you have this value for the backdoor, 0x0. And here you have a 0x0 as well. 
Uh, this is means, th it means that the backdoor is disabled for these accounts. Okay, so you have the account user here and you have account admin here. So the backdoor is disabled for uh, these two accounts. But we have this another admin. So you have two users, the same users uh, with the same name in the application, in the firmware, but you have uh, the backdoor flag set it to one, okay? So it means that the backdoor is working for this uh, account, okay? And also you have the password here. And we talk about the password later because it's a terrible history. So, and also the another thing that you uh, have to check is uh, the priority. You have the priority one for uh, the backdoor admin and the priority zero and two for the another users, okay? So, basically I already told it. So you have uh, the same user, admin here and admin here. And the, the, the difference is the priority and uh, the flag backdoor set it with zero or set it with uh, one. When I saw that, it was exactly this face. Why? The guys do something like that. So, uh, to transform a single user, normal user, in a backdoor user, of course, just change the backdoor flag. So if your friend, for example, wants to transform him in a backdoor account, just do this and uh, upload the text file again to the router. Okay, so you have a backdoor user. So uh, let's analyze the, the hardware. This is the hardware that the guy from the internet server provider uh, installed in my, uh, in my home. You see now, it's, mm, Quite interesting, you know? So there is nothing about brand. There is nothing about nothing. So can you see some information there? Just that, that this number here, and nothing more. So you don't have brand, you don't have uh, no other information about this hardware, okay? So basic is that. And uh, this is uh, the tag that the support guy leave at my home with this tag. And the official tag for this internet server provider is something like that, you know? So then you have, you see, different uh, stickers for this, uh, the, the different tags for these two um, devices. So when I saw that, I was thinking, so there is something wrong because the internet server provider give me, uh, normally they uh, leave at home for the, the customers, uh, stickers like that. Not this, uh, can, can I say bad words? Hmm? Okay, so I, I don't say it, no, no one replied, so I don't say it. So uh, it, it, it's very strange for me. So then I started to, okay, so it's very strange, maybe uh, I should take a look, uh, a deeper looking for, uh, this device. So, in Brazil, we have a government department called uh, Anatel. Anatel should take care about these devices that are allowed to use in the Brazil, okay? And uh, the Anatel give okay for this device. So the guys gave me, uh, the guys showed it to Anatel. So, take it, test it, and uh, oh, it have a back door, so doesn't, don't take care about that, so forgot about the back door. Just keep the back door there, so no one is touching that. But okay, so uh, another thing that we have to check here is this, this part. Uh, it's very interesting because we have uh, the requestor for testing this uh, device. This is this company, by Tech Technology. And uh, you have uh, the fabric, uh, the, the vendor, Sorry, I'm speaking Portuguese. Uh, we have the vendor, uh, Objetivos e Serviços de Valor Aninhado. It's a Spanish company. And uh, we have another uh, company. Uh, it's called Shenzhen uh, Corporation. Okay? So the, don't, don't forget these names and don't forget nothing about these companies. Also, don't forget about these others. You see? 
a Aloysio Azevedo Forti Rocha, okay? It's the address of the company that requested the Anatel to test this device, okay? So it was interesting, so let's check. And I checked the company. For <laughs> really, so should I explain something? Then I, I, I thought, okay, maybe Google is crazy. Maybe Google gave me the wrong uh, number. <laughs> let's test it, let's check. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's not that. But when you do uh, like a zoom, so, it's the number 40. <laughs> yeah, it's the place. It, it doesn't sound like a technology company for me. <laughs> for someone? Mm? No? Yeah. So then, uh, check it. Luiz Azevedo Rocha, uh, 40. Okay? And the best thing is, uh, oop, this is another one, uh, but before, uh, I called for this company. Not, not this one, this, this, this back one. But I called for this company. Please, please back the slide. Yeah, good. Uh, I called there, and uh, some guy answered the phone, but he's not Brazilian. I called for company to take some support, and someone with Spanish accent answered the phone. Okay, so man, could you help me? I, uh, I cannot say bad words. Uh, I break my uh, my firmware for the device that your company, its owner in Brazil. Uh, I want the, the the download the firmware to 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 fix my equipment, my device. And the guy, ah, okay, so could you send me uh, your email and stuff? Yeah, so it's my email. Uh, do you know when these guys will reply? No, so they will reply in, in few minutes. Uh huh. I'm waiting till now. They didn't reply nothing. And uh, after this guy sent me this, uh, not sent me, but told me this uh, information, oh no, the guys will reply you in a few, few days, a few hours. And uh, another, in another day, the next day, I called again. And no one answered anymore. <laughs> really, no one answered anymore. Maybe the guy put my mobile phone or my uh, number in the, some blacklist because pff, no one answered anymore. So, it, you know, so it sounds really strange. And uh, another company that's related with this, uh, all this stuff is the Shenzhen. And when you try to access the site for Shenzhen, you, have, uh, you are redirected to this site. So they created LEDs. So why they, you know, what is the relation of this company with the, the, the requesting to this device will work in Brazil. So maybe because they do the LEDs that is blinking, you know, so when they plug the cable, maybe something like that. But you know, so it's completely crazy for me. Uh, and this, uh, it is another one. This is uh, Observa Telecom. So the site for these guys is really, really good. You know, that is just the logo, nothing more. You don't have contact, you don't have, you don't have support, nothing. Nothing, just the logo. It's really good, so if you have some problem with these guys, so see, see my logo, it's cool, okay? Bom, uh, so nothing more about this uh, Observa Telecom for now, but of course we move forward. Um, then I did a small research, and I found uh, this guy, Miguel Ange Perez. Uh, Cool, I found an email, so let me write for this guy. Maybe the site is in, in, in um, they are fixing the site because some is broken for three months, maybe. I don't know if some are fixing for support for this things uh, take this time, but yeah. So I found this, uh, okay, to observa at observatelecom.es. Good, so let me write for these guys. Uh -huh. 11 emails. And even automatically the response I received. Nothing, nothing. So, let's go. And I have uh, my internet server provider, and uh, I uh, call to the my internet server provider to ask for support. So guys, and I have my device broken, 
uh, by mistake, I, uh, I break my femur by mistake, you know, mistake. And so I wanted, uh, I need some support because, you know, I'm, I don't have internet now. Okay, so uh, uh, what is the, your uh, device uh, number? Then I, I send the device number, RTN something, and then the guy told me uh, we don't have support for this device. Man, what's the problem for these guys? So then I asked, man, think with me. Your support guy came to my home, installed this device uh, in my home. My internet is working. I have a connect connection and everything. Of course, now it's broken. And how do, don't, don't, don't you have support for that? It's working, it's in your network, and your guy with credentials, if everything, came here and installed that. So no, sir, but we don't have support for this, uh, this device. So, man. So if you want to, to check it, uh, there is a, uh, the, the device is available for support. And so I, I check it 10 times, so I, I'm not crazy, really. So uh, on more strange, very, very strange stuff. Uh, when I was doing, uh, starting for the reverse engineer, this firmware, uh, at the beginning of the firmware, I found this uh, string, step tp link. So who knows tp link? Okay, some, some, good. So this is another one, a company uh, like the link that uh, created this kind of stuff, firmwares and uh, devices and blah, blah, blah. So can you count the, the companies already uh, around this, this, uh, this back door? So you have uh, Vitek, you have Observa, you have Shenzhen, you have Anatel, and now you have TP-Link. Oh, sorry, uh, and in the, the link, six already. So, you know, it's, it's quite complicated because after that I, I just lost which one is the the main company uh, behind this uh, device. Um, okay, uh, when you uh, download this bin file with the, the backdoor in clear text, you can see uh, a password. And in this case, the password was uh, 41C3 IROCON. So let me uh, search in the Google. Maybe it's uh, the full password for this backdoor. Okay, so I did this uh, research. Of course, uh, nothing did Google. And uh, it was good because it's not the full password. Then probably I found something new. So I, I was happy because of that. And then I start to uh, go deeply in the, this thing. And I look for the Irocon company, you know, because so they put the password Irocon. Then I look for the, some company called Irocon. So then I found it. Um, the Irocon in the word business directory. So then you have Irocon.com. Awesome. Let's see what this, impress, this, this company does. And when you go to the site for this company, the site is for sale. So one more company with nothing. And then I tried to buy this, but it was quite expensive, then I, I gave up. So um, this is the last available site for Irocon. It's 2005, the last available site for Irocon. So of course, nothing for this information works anymore. Um, so another uh, interesting uh, thing, uh, you have the MAC address for this device. The last two octets for this device, they use uh, 41C3 to create the password. Do you remember the 41C3 IROCON? They use the last two octets for this, uh, to create this password. Also, they use the last two octets to name it your uh, Wi-Fi network. Awesome, good. Then you have the, your two last octets free for everyone. Hmm? It's like hack me, please. And, okay. 
on more company. I, I really did this face when uh, I opened the, the device. The device, uh, it's from uh, Heotech. Do you know Heotech? Okay, good. More people know Heotech. Awesome. So, you know, this device is made by Realtek, and this is a backdoor, so you should take a look in your <laughs> devices later. Um, so, one more company uh, related uh, with this, uh, this backdoor, you know. Uh, really, I hope you change your devices later about that uh, after this talk. So, uh, now we are inside of the backdoor, okay? Uh, here you have the admin, the normal admin, okay? Then you have a couple of commands. Okay, for this admin, so this admin has some power, okay? So you have a debug, more oh, cool debug, and uh, diagnostics as a reboot, and you have this S8, it's really good, and some uh, configurations. So when you try to do something more, uh, complex, let's say, more deep in this, uh, this device. You have the error, for example, uh, CMD logging error expecting so. Basically, you are not able to exact some kind of commands, or theoretically, these commands do don't exist for this uh, user. So uh, this is the admin, and plus the password GVT12345. This is the default password for the internet server provider. Just remember about this password because we have to discuss about that later. So then you have this information for the um, normal user, normal uh, admin. And when uh, you can see uh, the SH uh, logging show, for example, is disabled for this guy. And we, when you connect in this device with uh, our back door, we have kind of more commands. You know, it's a little bit more, hmm? maybe 50 more. This is, okay, and you have the different prompt, for example, uh, and you have the S8 working, okay? And when you try to do this uh, S8 show, for example, awesome, you have the password for everyone. Okay, so it's something like, hack me again, please. Uh, in this case, I was testing another uh, device. You see, uh, now I have this D590. Uh, it's another device that I bought for the support guy. Uh, I should not tell it. Yeah, never mind. Um, so then we have this admin. Do, do you remember the, the priority for the, the backdoor in the text file? So then you have priority one here, and the user will have priority zero, and the admin priority two, okay? So this is the last two octets for MAC address for this device as well. So I tested in some uh, kind of device just to make sure that uh, it, it was the, uh, the password for the back door. So uh, another thing very interesting in, the, in this device, uh, for example, uh, there is a Chinese uh, unicorn.com redirecting inside of this device. So it's in, it's in the memory. Uh, I did a memory dump for this device. And uh, we have a redirect, where URL redirect for the Chinese Unicorn. So yeah, the site is accessible. So then you have one more uh, company in the, uh, around this, uh, this back door and this device, you know? Another thing, uh, there is a, um, Username is stored in this device. Mirtis Fonseca. I have no idea who is she, really. I have no idea. Uh, another thing very interesting that is the, this device, I don't know why, uh, it stores your network, your Wi-Fi network for your neighbors. So it stores, so you can uh, turn it off, move it from another place, turn it on, do the dump, and you have some uh, Wi-Fi stored uh, in this device. So why they are storing uh, Wi-Fi networks? Someone? Yeah, no? It's the same, I have no answer for this. So I have no idea, really. 
So um, another thing very cool, and uh, really, I didn't hack the internet server provider. Please believe me. Uh, you have uh, some passwords for internet server provider for service. And you have some users and some uh, another user here and the password here, you know, so. Man, of course, I have the username, I have the password, and I will not hack the internet server provider. You see, I'm a good guy, really. So let's move. Uh, another thing very interesting, uh, when you try to access the uh, web page for this uh, application, with different users, you have different pages that you can uh, use. For example, uh, this is for normal admin, for normal admin here, uh, and this page is for the backdoor stuff. So, and you have the same page, you have the same URL, but the firmware checks if you're your priority and check everything about your user and give you different pages. I had no time to check more pages, but for sure there are more pages different that uh, you can access with different users. Uh, another thing very interesting in this case, you know, normally the Houters uh, has, uh, for example, uh, username admin and password admin or uh, admin without password or something like that. So in this case, uh, the firmware has the user admin and the password gvt1234. As I told you, um, it's not the full password. So even you uh, reset your device from factors the full, this password remains. So then in this case, the internet server provider change the firmware. You agree? Because it's not a normal password. It's a password with the internet server provider name and uh, this stupid string. So the internet server provider changed the firmware. Okay, someone disagree with me? No? No? Good. So guys, and uh, do you know Shodan? Uh, Shodan you know. Uh, uh, every, everyone hackers, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> uh, so then uh, after uh, uh, do this research, also let's go, let go to the Shodan and check uh, how many devices uh, it's exposed to internet uh, using exactly this device. And so then I have this uh, amount of device uh, exposed to internet when I did this research. Okay, so it's a quite good number, you know. Uh, really, I promise, I, I, I didn't about net with that. I didn't. So let's move. Then what I did, a uh, small uh, script in shell to test uh, the application, to test the device. And then uh, I was able uh, to find some devices uh, open to internet. So, and it takes maybe, I don't know, two minutes. So, let's go inside for this guy that I have no idea who is this guy. And the password, password for that is Zyrocon uh, 2533. So, do you remember the, 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 the IP address? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, then we, have, we are inside of the router of this guy. So can you, can you imagine it? what can I do uh, if I have total access for this guy? So first time, uh, this uh, screen is for the normal admin. So then I, I can uh, connect to this. Oh, sorry, for the backdoor admin. So I can create a the dynamic uh, DNS for me using the guy's connection, the guy's internet. So it's cool, really. But I promise, I didn't create a botnet. So we have the same thing. So let's remember the IP address, just to see you. Uh, just to see. Uh, there you have the, uh, all these commands that you can perform in the router. And of course, this guy never knows about that. 
So some updates after uh, I created this, oh no, I, I didn't create the botnet. Um, after this, uh, I, I checked the Observa Telecom website and they updated it. So, cool. Uh, we have no new information, we have a new site. So let's try to do something. Let's try to uh, ask these guys uh, some information about that. And also, they put the logo for the My Internet Server provider. So, okay, so they, for sure, they work together now. So if you, if you have some doubt about that, so now I'm sure that they work together. And then I tried to send a couple of emails. So according to the system, it's an envio corrector. It means it was delivered for someone. It's okay. Uh, but I don't have the answer it's still. So it's, you know, so you try to do something cool, but the people don't help you. You send them away, guys, I need the firmware, I need some information. Nothing. So how to fix that? Basically, um, you can change the backdoor flag, change the backdoor flag and put uh, and upload this uh, information again for your router, but never restore the factors defaults anymore. If you need to do that, you have to set this flag again and upload the file and blah, blah, blah. Uh, of course, uh, you should remove the uh, internet access. Just deny complete someone to access your device from the internet, even you. Oh, I need to access because, not because, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Or the hardest way, but the funny, funniest way, is hack the firmware. But it's quite hard because the firmware is encrypted and stuff. So, you have this uh, fixings for the, this uh, firmware problem, this backdoor problem. So, basically, the, uh, my considerations to you. Uh, audit your device, uh, fuzzing, and uh, uh, yeah, exactly this, this thing. So, why? Uh, you have a device at home, you don't know what happens in this device. You don't know what has inside for in this device. So also you can test for some bugs like uh, cross-site scripting, remote code execution and stuff. But it's a good idea to check what exactly your device is doing because, you know, so they can uh, redirect your data, they can uh, sniff your traffic. Not sniffing, but they can uh, uh, steal this data for you. So you, you, have, you have no idea. And also if you have it open to internet, so probably someone is connecting and uh, doing some, uh, something bad with your connection. Uh, after everything about that, it's my question to you. Who put the back door in my router? Hmm? Come on, guys. Help me. <laughs> I need to know what's the that put the back door in my router? because I don't know what kind of uh, data they are stealing me. Imagine if they are uh, getting my zero days. It's, it's, it's money, it's my work. So, and uh, so someone has uh, some idea? Hmm? No? Developers, where is the developers? <laughs> really guys, and uh, after uh, eight companies, if I'm not wrong, eight, nine companies, I really have no idea. Because you know, you have someone that created the hardware, so someone from the company that created the hardware could put it there. And uh, I have this Observa Telecom. They created the web uh, stuff for this, uh, this firmware. And um, I have TP-Link, so why did TP-Link? Um, also, I have my internet server provider that they changed the password, the default password for this firmware. So, one thing I, I'm sure, my internet server provider has some finger in this, this shit, really. So, what do you think? No? No idea? No, no one? <laughs> So I know that it's quite hard to uh, give, to tell some uh, 
something about that because you know when you go to the some place and check it and you see just a a big house with a very old door something wrong but you know so guys is it uh, normally my my talks are more technical but this one i would like to share with you because uh, I want you to test your device. Because you know, someone can uh, hack you and you don't know about that. You know, so you are hackers and hackers hacking hackers. It's quite, you know, but yeah, it happens. So I think it's a good idea to uh, test your device before um, and to make something uh, safer. Because you know, uh, I'm doing this talk and uh, a little bit exposing these companies. I know that it will not work uh, as much as I want, but uh, the companies, uh, will, uh, they know that someone is doing something to uh, decrease this amount of backdoors uh, in this device. I hope so. Okay? Questions? And also I have a death note, so please, your name. And uh, of course, <laughs> uh, my death note is a little bit uh, high tech, you know? So because you know, carrying books and it's... Nothing? Well, do I need to tell my real name? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I already hacked the, the, the attendees list, so don't... don't, don't Okay, don't thanks. <laughs> well, my question is, how did you find the router behaves strangely? So, uh, yeah, good question. Uh, man, it was a very funny history because we fucked up our, uh, our router and they really need, we really need support for that. And then we uh, do this backup for this file, for this configuration, and then I think, fuck, this is in clear text. And then we start to look in, in, inside that, and uh, a friend of mine that was working with me, so, man, there is a, a backdoor string here. So, okay, so let's do it, let's, uh, let's check it. And then we start the, this, uh, this research. So as I told you, so this research was born in uh, our hacker space. So, but it's complete uh, out, out, out of the blue, because so, we have a problem and we have to restore that, and also, it's a bin file. Uh, let me see inside of this bin file. It's a clear text file. Basically. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, hi, thank you. Um, my name is No Name. Uh, does this router have uh, VxWorks? And have you checked for VDB port in it? Window, uh, WindRiver debug port? No, not yet. Uh, so this, this uh, research didn't finish yet. Uh, we have more, uh, st more stuff to do. And now... Uh, because I'm not living in Brazil anymore, so my friends were working uh, in something. Uh, I don't have this, uh, this uh, device here, but the idea is try to decrypt the firmware and check everything more uh, deeply and uh, try to get the, the content between the DSL uh, connections. This is the future for this talk. 